everything for Jetland. Uh, for you guys. Made it. Airport. Heathrow Terminal 5. We're just waiting for the rest of the crew to arrive so that we um, do the boarding and um, get all these bags in. Caleb, got Marco, and us, the other jet lag member. We're just waiting for the crew. I mean, we're only going for 10 days, but there's people who've Packed for, for the uh, three years. Yes. Oh, okay. oh we, we're getting people who are going to join us for for the trip to South Korea. Definitely excited, not only to explore different behavior, different people, but to try on new food. I've, been, I've only been hearing and seeing about food that they offer in South Korea, so let's see what they actually have. Stay tuned. Always a great feeling to get through security. Right here we are, Terminal 5, we're just waiting for the gate to be announced. Meanwhile we have to, we've got what? We've got an hour to kill. Hour 15. An hour 15 minutes to kill. Feeling jet lagged already. Marco, how are you feeling about this whole, how are you feeling about the whole trip? I love Seoul more than my home. He loves Seoul more than his home town, which is Hong Kong. Um, yeah, I would that's, a very, that's a very promising statement, so let's, let's see what Seoul is all about. It's going to be here in 10 days, it's going to be so sick. And now it's time to hit duty free, so ta da. It's, it's duty free time, duty calls. Where's, where's Akin? He already went. This guy's always hungry. Um, we always have to feed him. Akin, Akin's the jet lag, the jet lag member that has to be fed all the time. Huh? Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's go. Hello, sweet. Hello, thank you. I mean, just like any other standard air airport, you find a lot of movie shops and restaurants and drinks. This particular jet lag member is always behind, is always after the beauty. Leading the way, leading the way. What, what, what exactly are we looking for? Perfume, and I need to get some skincare products. Oh, okay. Sun cream, by any chance, because it's going to be hot. Oh, okay, cool. Hundred SPF. Anything else apart from John? No, thank you. Have a good day. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Okay. The adventure clearly begins, and we haven't even boarded the plane yet. It always confuses me. Anyways, stay tuned for the rest. No. I'm thinking whether to buy this one or not, whether it's worth the investment, because my gorilla pot is tiny compared to this one, and my camera is like huge, so I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking of getting that. You guys would agree when, when you see my, my other tripod, don't you? Look, this is the one that I have right now. Look, look at the size of my camera. Like, this was very cheap, but it wasn't worth the investment. So I might as well go for something that's worth it. Yeah. Right? Do it you for jet lags. Right? Jet lags. Do everything for jet lags. Uh. Do it for you guys. Okay, I need to go sleep now. <laughs> All of us are just 
morning none of us are like actually walking around with shoes on and people bought flip-flops and everything but <laughs> no shoes for us and now I got that gold rolly with the bezel and the Louis Vuitton on my body I know that shit don't impress ya This lip balm is really really good um, I'll just show you this one Yeah, it's the next one And it's so moisturising I really like this and these Sephora branded lip balms But they're really really good and they keep your lips moisturised Especially for long haul nights um, We're all gonna do face masks for the long haul night because once you, when you wear a face face mask, especially for such like this is this part is 11 hours direct, it just makes your face so moisturised and just keeps it so comfortable because your face can feel a bit dry or not that great with the makeup. So masks are really really good. Me and Manas have these um, Tony Moly ones. She's which one did you have? I think I had an avocado one. She has an avocado one. I have the aloe vera one, and they're both really moisturising. We got these from Sephora. So get them online in the UK and we're going to pick up loads from South Korea hopefully anyway but yeah that's a really good tip so when you're traveling long flights get yourself a face mask this is like the sheet one so you just take it off and you don't have to wash it off yeah yeah and they're so good for hydrating your skin and keeping it moisturized so definitely definitely would recommend okay so I'm just awkwardly standing in the middle of the aisle on the plane <laughs> to test whether they're the gorilla pod that I've given Paul Super works when it comes to carrying a camera. It seems to be fine, so she can walk around with it. We've just landed in Seoul, it's 7.27 a.m. So I think at London it's 11.27, something yeah, like it's that. It's very misty here, which we didn't expect. I know, but it's still the morning, so the sun will probably come out later. But do you know what? It's like we had dinner when we should have had a breakfast, and we, should, we had breakfast when it should have been dinner. So our, our time's already messed up, up yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're here now. Yay. Yay. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> we are finally here. Yay! Just going to baggage claim and security and all that good stuff. But thank God we're out of that plane now. Better vibes only. It's just me and my homies. And if you don't know me, they better set for conversation. <laughs> 11 hours, done, dusted. I don't even know how to sleep anymore. Done. And dusty bitches. See you in company. She's not, she doesn't see care, she's not tonight. tired. So the question is, are we going to go to the hotel and rest after an 11 hour flight? Of course not. We're going to train for Taekwondo. I don't know why this intruder keeps, keeps ruining my... Actually, why not? It's trying to make it. It's trying to be spontaneous and make it. Oh, here you go. Aisha, spotlight is on you. How, how, how do you feel? How do you feel Sorry. after? No paparazzi. Oh. How do you? How do you feel after an 11-hour flight? I felt amazing because that was a big, big. Sorry, I can't speak. That was that was Aisha, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now we're just waiting for everyone to get their luggage, so that we can um, head to the coach and. I think the coach driver is going to get us to the place where we will practice some Taekwondo to um, stretch our legs after an 11 hour flight when everyone's um, dead inside and outside. So let's see how, how that works out. <sighs> Can't wait. Made it. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good. Feeling Feel great? Feeling great. That's good. <laughs> Chloe, how do you feel about after the 11 hour flight? <laughs> yeah, quite refreshing. No, it's not. Hungry though, as always. <laughs> I know, I saw it and I was like, it's calling me. It's I was like, wait, I can't need to say I was KFC. No. 
Oh, it's nice. So far, it's cute. It's a cute room, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we've, we haven't got a double, babes. <gasps> oh no. Oh well. But it's right. We can. Well, I was gonna say push them together. Okay, let's see what the bathroom is like. Okay, so this is our ensuite. And yay, a big mirror. Oh my gosh, guys, I wanted this for so long. Like, I want a remote control for the toilet. Legit. Oh, so sick. And then... Oh, these are really big products. But yeah, it's quite cute. Normal-sized bathroom. We're staying at the Centre Mark Hotel. Steril sterilization has been completed yes my favorite thing i don't know where the wardrobe's actually i should probably pull that so i just going to check out our oh dressing gowns we love our dressing Jenny. gowns actually do you know what um what's the in the intercontinental has the best dressing gowns because oh, they're yeah, so oversized really nice ones there. but yeah this hotel room is quite cute we'll go have a shower before we get ready to go out and then we'll go Jenny, so we yeah <laughs> Um, Manaz, what do you think? It's really nice, yeah, I'm excited to be staying Okay, here. basically this section is just for Manaz. Because we have a kettle and I bought my PG tips. So, and look, this looks like green tea, so that's nice it's as well. green tea, but I just want iced tea, there's McDonald's downstairs so. though. I want to go get an iced tea every single buffet. day. I found some. Oh, they have a UK, they have a UK thing, slaw, and I brought my, um, brought my German one. Also, you know how you always have to put like that sign outside your door, whether they, sh they should clean up your room or not? This is like electric controlled, electronically controlled, I should say. So it says like make up room or do not disturb. Let's see what happens actually. I don't know, I actually can't tell. Oh yeah, so it comes up here outside. That's quite sick. Okay, let me just bring in because I left my keys.